Bucks and mixed with brains <laughs> is a deadly combination. <laughs> What the hell? Everyone knows that I'm pretty much the tall buxom blonde. What are you staring at? Your face. Why? Because I like to. Last summer, Michael and I became really close. You ever watch Spider-Man? <laughs> yeah. He kissed me upside down. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> I have a little giggle with you. Mm. I thought that I liked Michael a lot, but then I got to the house and I realized I didn't like him at all. I nominate Kaser. When Jennifer broke her word and then she nominated Kaser, that's when the hatred started. Wait, so you're so beautiful. Thanks, Jamie. Maggie, you're such a bitch. They were just a bunch of dirt bags. <laughs> Jennifer, you look like a clown. Gold digging bitch. They already hated me, so I called them, you know, what I thought of them. So when I got into a very heated argument, it really upset the nerders. She doesn't even deserve to be here, period. She does not deserve to be here. No. They were always after me. So I tried to win all the competitions and I tried my hardest to win everything to keep myself safe. <laughs> Power of veto. Janelle, congratulations. You are the head of household. <laughs> People have always assumed that I was just, you know, dumber than a rock. But I am a competitor. Like, I will do anything to win. I really, really, really want to go back into the Big Brother house just because I want to play the game again. Bye bye, bitches! Janelle. is up next. Gee, I wonder who he's gonna hit. <laughs> it came down to Danny and Jedi Janie, and uh, you know, Danny's evil. I definitely knew I was safe keeping Jedi Janie in the game. Oh, and Howie knocks Danielle off her pedestal. Congratulations, Janelle. You are the second head of household. Jace and Janelle, please go to the podium and claim your keys to the HOH bedroom. The two of you must agree on who to nominate for eviction, or you will both automatically be put on the chopping block. Who do you think you should nominate? I don't know. I was thinking whatever you got going on. Were you thinking of anyone in particular? No, I haven't seriously right at this point. I ain't got anybody. I don't either. Dude, they're just all so good. I, it scares me even talking about, thinking about nominating someone. You know, just because... I know. Dr. Will... Dr. Will is... He cannot be reckoned with. I mean, this guy won before. He's smooth. I know Mike Boogie tried to knock me off on the thing. That kind of pissed me off. Did he, was he going for you? Yeah. So who do you think we should nominate then? I, right now, I don't, I don't... I think George, if you put him up, he'd go. Okay, listen. You and Chase don't agree on people. Who goes up? We do. You and Chase. Yeah? They would have easy numbers to get rid of you. What's up, honey? Hey, come in. I was headed up to the HOH room with Allison and Chicken George because I was going to get to the bottom of this. There they are, Big Brother six people busted. Oh, my God. Load of rumors. I know, that's what he was just telling me. They're having a powwow. They're talking about what we were already talking about. So I just go along with the flow. Danielle comes to me. She is trying to put this idea in everybody's head to pressure you into not agreeing with her. Just because you're, because you're a Big Brother six person. I was pretty stunned and I'm very offended. It's so early in the game and I just didn't think she'd come at me so hardcore like that. And she really should not because she really was not on my radar at all. Um, we've nominated you, Allison, and you, Danielle. We were trying to go through scenarios, and we just really felt like, you know, you guys started playing the game really hardcore, and you guys have the ability to, like, turn people against us, so that's why I nominated. 
And that concludes the uh, first nomination ceremony. Danielle's freaking out because she's used to calling the shots and having a whole army of people behind her, you know? But she kind of overplayed her cards a bit. She didn't need to come up with a big plan to try and evict me. So, heck yeah, I feel like I made the perfect decision. Hey, come do what you got to do, honey. The reason that Allison and Danielle are on the block is because they wanted to try and convince Jace to disagree with my nominations, which would automatically put us on the block. Okay, well, here's the deal. We were, we're putting gonna... out Chicken George. Yeah. We weren't even thinking about playing the, the game. And then every single person came to us and was like, oh my God, Allison and Danielle are trying to get the old house against you guys. Like we had people coming to us, like every single person, they were like, Danielle's rallying up the whole house. She's, you know, she's trying to get Jace to disagree with my nomination, so I go home. Both of them gotta come to an agreement, right? Yeah. What if they don't? They and go they up. Wouldn't it make sense for him to not agree? So you did go to everyone and say, what would happen if this happened? No, 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 no. I went to I did. Allison. The only one I, I said it to was Boogie James. and James. It's the only two I even said that to. The rest of us don't want to get rid of James. We want to get rid of Janelle and break up that alliance. When I do that scenario, she goes, well, who is it going to be, Janelle or Jace? Which side are you taking out? Season six alliance or the other one? And I said, I'm not committing because I'm not so stupid. Allison came up to him and was like, she said, she's like, I've got Boogie, I've got Will, she I've told got me the same thing. I swear to you guys, he told me the same she, thing. And she told me, you have to make a decision. I got to look at all of you when I'm telling you this story. This is what happened. I was walking out of the bathroom and Chicken George and Danielle were talking. And she brought in the whole, what if they don't agree thing? Like, she was going to have people vote you out. Not that I was trying to do anything, but that's what Danielle's idea was. She's she wanted that, me to figure... She's saying that you were like, okay, it's Big Brother 6, we have to get them out, you guys, that you were on to every single person, you're like, we have to get her out. This is what I told her, flat out. I was like, Janelle, Howie, Kaser, Alliance, James, Alliance. And then I we said... We don't have an alliance. You, you might we're not. We're in the same season, it's like not right. fair. It's no, insane. no, I know that. That's how you feel about her. Mm -hmm. She could just be acting like that, like nice or whatever. I have no idea. <laughs> Come on up. Shut the door you don't need anymore. <sighs> I guess it's time for me to go play stupid. I completely blame Janelle for being nominated. America might like Janelle. I hate her. This house is so big, you like don't even know if people are in it or not. Exactly. It's I huge. thought every I was the only one in here. I know. <laughs> Be bopping around the corner. I keep this much target off the whole group. It's gonna look like we're all working together. So I mean, what do you think? Allison and Danielle were rallying the whole house against me. So it makes me realize that the BB6 players have to stick together. Okay. You see how many groups? You just get right in the middle of it. That's what I've been doing. Okay. If they're talking about us and they stop, at least they stop. What I've heard around the house, there is a price on our head. We came in with the, with the largest amount of people from any other season. As of right now, the BB6ers are sticking together. I was worried about finishing this week. And both of us getting each other. Whoever gets it next week, then we gotta go work them. Yeah. Danielle is more alone if she stays. Especially if she thinks she's leaving. The thing about Danielle is Danielle is amazingly smart, but Danielle is incapable of winning competitions. And that's why it scares me to keep Allison in the house. Yeah. Because she's a really good competitor. Oh my god, she cannot win that veto. <laughs> Like, unbelievably, I'm more scared of Allison because she has the capacity to really turn it up. I let Janelle win the power of veto because it took the target off my back and put it on her back. Good luck, Janelle. 
am really mad that she won HOH and veto this week and kind of sealed my fate. And our first all-star veto winner, Janelle! It's a really nice way to start the all-star season. I won the first HOH and I won the first power veto. <laughs> So who do you think should stay? I don't know. It's, it's, it's difficult. Danielle, she wasn't even nominated yet, and she was trying to turn the house on us. Yeah. Her and Will are the same. You gonna take her off and put Will up? The only reason I can think of vetoing Danielle right now is that I could make a deal with her and she might be able to keep me safe. But if I save Allison, she has a very good chance of winning head of household and I could ask her not to nominate me. I have thought a lot about using it on a um, certain someone, but at this time I just think it's too risky to do it because it might upset like the whole house. So at this time, I just feel like it's the best thing to not use the power detail. Sorry. Basically, they came after me, and so I had to get them both on the block. Sorry. The house was kind of split. So who do I have? Kaser, James, Howie, and Erica. Do I have Marcellus? I don't know. Okay, well. If Allison's trying to get Chicken George to vote, I already asked him, and he shook on it. What do you think Boogie and them are voting? I would think Will will keep me. Ooh. And if Will keeps me, then Boogie will keep me. I just don't know. Hi, Janelle. Hi, Julie. Now, remember, your housemates cannot hear this conversation, so you're able to speak your mind, okay? Okay. Now, you and Jace have been heads of household for the past week. How did having a co-HOH affect your strategy? It was a, it was a kind of hard at first because I didn't want to throw names out there. I thought maybe, you know, he might have been friends with certain people in the house, and I was kind of nervous about that. So it was kind of strange because you, you couldn't really, you know, take control and just like go with what you wanted. You have to make sure that the other HOH wanted the same. Mm -hmm. Well, just like last summer, Janelle, you are living in the house with yeah. Howie, James, yeah. and Kaser. How strong is the Season 6 Alliance? The Season 6 um, Alliance is probably the most, I think, the most dominant alliance in the house because there's four strong players and, um, you know, we're all really strong, straightforward players. So, Do you trust them? I, well, I trust certain, I mean, I trust Kaser and Howie the most. I mean, out of the four of us. And then James, yeah, I trust James a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Janelle. You're and welcome. you can rejoin your housemates in the living room. Okay, thanks. Allison, you are the first all-star evicted from the Big Brother house. The one person that was coming after me is now gone. And now I feel, like, really safe. Danielle. Congratulations, really on Thank you. So glad. Danielle and I are on very good terms, which is what I was hoping for. Everything seems to be working out perfectly. She was just all about Janelle, and she, I know she was telling everyone, she's like, I'm going after Janelle. I'm like, that bitch is in the house. <laughs> so lucky that I won the first H O H then. Yeah. Or I would have been the first one gone. I wouldn't have voted you out. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just thankful to be here. Yeah, I'm glad you're staying. Yeah. I was uh, well, I'll come in here and tell you. Well, the thing is, it's like, um, I think Diane. Okay. I don't know who the person was. Okay, that's fine. When Kaser won the HOH, we've been trying to hide our alliance in the house, but I thought, what the heck? I'm gonna celebrate a little bit. Everyone knows that me and Kaser are super close. I can't hide it. How did it come down? She doesn't believe about Jace. Who? Her. her. She thinks Jace is straight with us. He is with them. But we dodged a major bullet last week. For whatever reason, he helped us through the week. Good. The reason he helps us is because it's called playing every side you came in. He's the James from a year ago. He is? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I feel like he's being real with me, though. He's not playing for this week. He's playing for the next weeks. 
Nicole's strongest other player other than Will, I think, because she's so damn smart up here. Yeah. Don't you think the smartest thing to do would be to put up two people from both different alliances yes. like that? Yes. Diane Nicole's alliance and the boys in the world. Oh, I think it's a thing. Janelle, you're safe. So did he actually make a deal or was it bull? He made a deal. Yeah. With Chilltown. I thought that was bull. What was the deal? No, he really did. What was the deal? He's not gonna go after Chilltown this week. If they don't go after him or us. Him. Kaser is being a complete pansy. He's scared of Chilltown. He's scared that if he puts one of them up, the other one's gonna come after him. Casey really didn't make anyone that happy this week. Besides Chilltown. I think Chilltown needs to be broken up now. Chilltown should have been broken up during the nomination ceremony. If I get chosen to play the power veto and I win the power veto, I just might have to change one of Kaser's nominations. Janelle and Marcellus are in the bathtub together. <laughs> Big Brother All-Star starts <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm just gonna shot of learning this entire thing. So does Diane, she says. I think if we're working together, we should get out the people that are coming after me, because the longer I'm in this game, the longer you're in the game too, probably. You know what I'm saying? I think that I need to chill with Diane. She's with Chilltown. I don't think Diane wants to get played this season, so I don't think she's gonna go with some two guys that are gonna play out. It doesn't matter which one goes, because the other one is gonna come after you. I have to think about what's best for me and what's best for Janelle, because I want to take Janelle to the end. That would be the most glamorous final two in the history of the world. Oh my God, it would be so aesthetically pleasing. Why do I always end up with the blondes? I know. Why are you guys always not undoing? doing? <laughs> Janelle, I know that the Mr. and Mrs. Smith thing is, is for sure. Diane and Jace are alive. There's something fishy going on. Am I interrupting? No. What is going on with you and Diane? Me and Diane? Yeah. I, there's an, I, I thought that it was like... No, Diane, there's... An, I, it, no. When I spoke to Jace about Diane, he just got like all nervous and he just started talking in circles and clearly he's lying. Mm. In Big Brother 5, Diane and Jace hated each other so much. Diane, you just busted out your whole alliance. I never said oh, names of anything. I said, you're not dumb and neither are we. That's all I said. It's on! So this would be the perfect alliance for them because everyone would think that they hate each other when they're actually just really working together. Jace, no, which I... one do you want to dislike more? Is it Comus or Diane? No, Comus is a better game player. Isn't that obvious? I don't know which. I don't know which. See, he's dead set on keeping Diane, obviously. Getting rid of Diane this week gets rid of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It ends it right there. So that, to me, right there, just confirmed it. Exactly. I would want to keep Nicole in the house because everyone is so frightened of her. They think that, you know, she's this dominant player and they're just scared that they can never beat her. You know, Diana's going around the house crying. She needs the money. It's pretty pathetic. Big Brother is not a charity case, and I think everyone is just as deserving of the money. I vote to evict Diane. Nicomas? You have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star House. Okay. I have no one to smoke with now. That's so depressing. I miss Nokomis already. The other people in season six voted against Nokomis. They voted with the rest of the herd, and I gave my word to Nokomis, and I stuck with it. I vote to evict Diane. I vote to evict Nokomis. I vote to evict Nokomis. Ah. It's all right, Marcella. We're beauty queens. We're just supposed to look cute. We're not beasts. We're beauty queens. <laughs> Damn it.
Well, you know, I think it's great that I'm doing so horrible at the competitions because now people aren't seeing me as this smart, buxom blonde, and I like it. Hey, Janelle, potato chips are made from potatoes, and corn chips are made from corn. Do we get those with veggies? You don't want potato chips, Marcy. You've already slimmed yourself down to a size two. You're right. At least we didn't get slop. At least we didn't get slop. What the hell is a kumquat? I don't know. I've never heard of that word before. It's like an apricot, I think. Does Danielle know it worked too? Yeah, because she knows Jace is after her. And wants me to nominate Jace. Yeah, we have to make her and Marcellus feel super safe. Marcellus and Danielle, they're like our sub-aligns. They're with us, but they're not as tight as the four. Right, Marcellus wants Jace. Danielle wants Jace. Well, because Marcellus thinks that Jace is after him. Right, which, guess what, so does Danielle. Okay. Which is fine by me. Yeah. I do kind of feel like he owes me for saving me, but it's like... You know what? His actions speak louder than words. Janelle, you are safe. Thanks, James. Who can win vetoes? Who can win HOHs? That person is Jace. Well, Jace and I have this understanding on a competitor's level that we both said to tell each other we weren't going to back door. I'm in this Big Brother house, and I want to play the best of the best in the end showdown. I respect your game, James. You and I, our battle will come. I'm very worried about Jace. He's going to come after the guys in this group. I know it. I'm really worried about Jace, too. I'm telling you, he's gonna bite us in the ass if you don't get rid of him now. I mean, you gotta agree. I mean, I'm sticking to my word for a change. I think that that should be a good thing. They all want Jace, and I didn't want Jace because it would kind of be like a back door. The decision is extremely hard, so it needs to be a good one. I think it's the best move for us as a group to go after Jace. An obvious good reason to get rid of Will is that he is a part of Chilltown, and that would be, you know, breaking him and Boogie up. And, you know, Chilltown's made it obvious that they are coming after us. It might be safe for me personally in this game to get rid of Jace this week because I don't know, he might get rid of a floater next week, but what happens after next week? He's coming after me. Jace, you have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star House. Jace, I'm so, so sorry we couldn't take your deal. It's, it was just too risky for us as a group, and we couldn't completely trust you. Janelle. Loyalty. Congratulations, Janelle, for the second time this season. You are the head of household. I'm the first person to have HOH twice this season. What can I say? I dominate in this game. I feel sorry for the other house guests because we're pretty much steamrolling through the house at this point. <laughs> I was like, obligation? Janelle and I have a secret deal above and beyond what the four have, so I was hoping that Janelle would actually sort of throw it. But it is what it is, but it is fantastic! Look, they want to scare this guy, I have no idea what you're talking about, Janelle. Let me see. Pull your things out a little bit. Janelle wants to see the body. Say it, Janelle. <laughs> oh, I want to see your body, Will. Thank you. Janelle, you call me if you need anything. All right. You should not have your leave. I'm telling you. I was waiting for you to join me. Oh. Yeah. Why is Willie really so scared of me? Oh, Willie. Give her a kiss, Willie. Come on, little Willie. Janelle has fallen madly, madly in love with me. Can you blame her? I'm so in love with Will that if he left, I, I don't know if When I did you know you loved me? <laughs> the second that you walked through those doors. <laughs> Boogie, you know Janelle, that big, blonde, freaky uh, cartoon chick from uh, Big Brother 6? Dude, she's way into me. This is just the beginning of a little strategy to work Will over. I had to come outside because I had to look at you. You're so damn hot. We're not going to nominate them. We're going to give them a sign of good faith. We'll let you make the decisions. We'll take the fall for it. Between the six of us, run out of the floaters if you can get Case or James on your side. So you're saying nominate two floaters? Yeah. Nominate two floaters. Guarantee Boogie and I don't go up as a power veto person. We'll guarantee whatever you want. See if we can take a group of six to the final six. If you Boogie would win HOH and none of us went up, then we definitely would work a deal. Howie and Janelle may be looking for a alliance of Chilltown plus season six to eliminate all the floaters. And if not, if you guys burn us, well, we'll go back to our lives. 
I feel like baking today. Don't you feel like baking? I don't help you bake. No laundry. What can we make? No laundry laws. Well, there's cookies in there. Um, I don't want to make cookies at all. Oh, cookies yes, I'll do this. Oh. Calm down, Howie. Calm down, baby. I really liked Janelle, but um, it's kind of like one of those things that you've got to keep your friends close but keep your enemies closer. What can we make today for food that we haven't had? Does anyone know how to make banana bread? Do you know how to make it, Diane? No. I've nominated you, Boogie, and you, Erica. Boogie, you said you're coming after me. I dislike you very much, and I nominated Erica because she's so well liked in the house, and I thought that people would absolutely not vote against her. And that's why I nominated you guys. I'm sorry. Okay. And this meeting is adjourned. My real goal is to shake up the house and take out a floater this week because they control the votes. I need to dwindle down that alliance as fast as I can because the next few weeks are very important. No one in the house really knows this, but I'd rather have my boogie stay in the house. My big plan <laughs> is um, Chilltown winning the power veto because if boogie came off the block, I could nominate another floater. And that guarantees the floater leaves this week. Look, I know I didn't get to talk to you beforehand, but like, seriously, I didn't know who to nominate. And like, you're not going to be going home. <laughs> yeah, but you never know, Janelle. Look. Everyone's going to be voting Boogie out. I didn't know who to nominate. I was like, Chicken George, mm -hmm. they could possibly vote him out and Boogie would stay. Mm -hmm. Diane was kind of like, I didn't know how the votes would go and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How could you possibly go home? I don't, I don't really know. I mean, what she tells me and what she could be thinking could be two totally different things. I promise you, you're <laughs> safe. What if um, I won the power of veto and maybe saved Boogie? I mean, that'd be awesome. Listen, that'd be awesome. I really liked your idea and your plan mm -hmm. to nominate two floaters. However, I just didn't want to be all that tension. Like, I just couldn't do it. Of course. And I had to talk to you more about this thing that you've come up with. Like, if you want it or if I want it, whatever, we save Boogie. And you said that you would vote up the person that I wanted. Of course. You and Absolutely. Boogie will. Absolutely. Okay, but we have to discuss with, with Boogie prior to this competition. Will you tell anyone, though, in the no. house? No. I promise you. Can I send Boogie up here alone and you discuss it with him? Yeah. What else, Janelle? Okay. So... Oh, never mind about the speech at the nominations. That was all just, I was trying to make Erica feel better. I gotcha. No problem. So I was like, because everyone thinks that you don't, you don't like me either. Right. So, it works um, all fine. You and I are playing the power of veto. I think we will probably play in the power of veto too. You? Yeah. But I was thinking, um, if one of you wins, okay. you know, earlier today you guys said, if I kept you and Will off the block. Right that you guys would vote at the person that I want you to vote out. Sure. Hey. So, um, I've been thinking a few for a few days, and um, I'm nominating Diane tomorrow. Dirty Diane's coming. She's coming for BB6. If Janie would have threw her up on the hot seat, maybe not such a bad idea. Whatever you want to do, you're HOH. I'm calling you out on your lot. I was told that if I put Jace up and I do you guys that favor, because Jace wasn't coming after me, any of us that got HOH would put up Will and Boogie this week. That didn't happen. That wasn't the plan. Boogie came up the block. And this is like the second best thing for me. And you just said you're doing what's best for you, not the team. So now that I have vetoed one of your nominations, Janelle, it is time for you to nominate somebody else for eviction. Well, fellow house guests, this decision did not come very easy to me. It was really difficult, and I had to go back and forth all week, and it wasn't very comfortable for me. It was the hardest week I've ever dealt with in my life. But, unfortunately, I have to nominate you, Diane. I knew it. I'm not letting people talk me into things, and I'm doing what's in the best interest for myself. The floaters are mad at me because I didn't put Chilltown up, but I'm not going to do the floaters dirty work. Sorry. <sighs> what's up? I'm still kind of upset about the whole ceremony. It was horrible. It is horrible. 
I just hope that this is, we gotta make sure the team is, you know, together. And I don't know what's gonna happen next week. Well, you mean if someone else wins it, James might get upset because of what I did? Maybe. But we took a huge risk here. I think taking out Diane is a good move. I agree with you. I just, my issue was more timing and the way it was done. My main concern right now is keeping our alliance intact. The problem is right now, James is like all up in arms. Here's the thing that is the target on Chill Town. Yes. Or is it on us now? Hi, Janelle. Hey, Julie. Now remember, your housemates cannot hear this conversation, so feel free to say whatever you like. Okay, sure. Are you falling for Will? No. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I'm not, Julie. <laughs> Are you sure? Because, you know, you kept him off the chopping block, even though you knew it would upset your housemates. Oh, I know. I just, I mean, I just felt like he wasn't a threat to me personally. That's why I didn't put him on the chopping block. But okay. Will and I are just good friends. Janelle, last time you were HOH, you declared your loyalty to these people in the following order. Howie first, uh -huh. then Marcellus, uh -huh. followed by Kaser, and finally James. Uh -huh. Has that order changed? No, I'm still loyal to all those people. It's just, I mean, sometimes, some days, you know, I might be more loyal to Kaser and whatnot. But, I mean, I'm still, I mean, they're still in my alliance. I'm still close to all of them, really. Where does Chilltown fall on that list? They're not in my alliance. So, um, my alliance come first, comes first. So, is Marcellus in your alliance? No, he's not. He's my friend. <laughs> well, he's pretty high up on the list. Yeah, he is. I right. love Marcellus. I can't help it. Thank you, Janelle. Thanks, and you Janelle. can rejoin your housemates downstairs in the living room. Mm -hmm. Why do I always end up with the blondes? I don't know. Why do you guys always not make your way? It just makes me sick when people refer to Janelle as new Amy. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be in an alliance with you. I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> She does not hold a candle to me when it comes to inner beauty. I don't really care about having fun. I care about looking good. <laughs> okay. And she grates on my last nerve by winning everything. Congratulations, Janelle. You are the head of household. Physically, I've seen prettier girls. Janelle looks like you would buy her in a transvestite sex toy shop. What are you worried about? Oh God, just everyone is so concerned with me. The girls have to stick together. Even if Marcellus and Janelle are great friends, he would turn on her in a heartbeat. She's outside and she must be happy as a pig. <laughs> All the boys are outside working out. It's disgusting. I think that if anything is his downfall, it will be that he's so emotional and he's very shady. I worry about the people who have um, put their trust in him. I really do. Diane. You have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star House. I don't want you to take this personally, but it was the most strategic move for me. And I had to do it because, I mean, I could be gone next week. I was really sad when Diane left just because she had so much hard feelings towards me. It wasn't anything personal, the reason, you know, why I wanted to get her of the house. It was purely, you know, strategic. I don't think she'll ever forgive me. I don't know how you and his relationship are. You went after the floaters last week. We are all going to reap the repercussions because of that. Plain and simple. Um, why? Because now all the floaters think they're scared. Look at the floaters are the ones hanging in the longest. With the exception of Howie. Whereas before, they would have dropped out. What? I told her I'm going to come upstairs and talk to her later. Obviously, the target is Janelle. Janelle's idiotic nominations last week have kind of set the stage for her potential downfall this week. Danielle would probably put up me and Kay, sir. That would be a smart nomination, because even though she could put up two people from season six, we'd be gunning for her, but James would never be gunning for her. Thank you. I nominate Janelle and James for eviction next week. Expect the unexpected with me. Um, I'm not here to sit aside and have people do the dirty work. I'm here to play the game. And the decision I made is put the two toughest badasses in your alliance to compete for the veto. And to me, let the best person win. And it is what it is. 
That's it. That's all. The meeting's adjourned. I was very surprised that James was nominated. I thought that Danielle and him had this really close relationship. Frankly, I think she's a bitch. James was seriously upset. He was like putting his face in his hands. I hope it's not all an act, but. I was nominated. I was completely expecting it, but I was very surprised that James was nominated. I thought that Danielle and him had this really close relationship, and I thought there's no way that she would ever put him up. Clearly, Danielle and James are not as close as I thought. Yes, but there's always been like that little tiny bit of suspicion with James. I sometimes think like, would he sell us out like he did last year? Oh my God! You have to learn, you know. <laughs> you all get along. Of... Shut up, Howie. <laughs> Lately, Howie's just been butting into conversations and been really loud, and we're just kind of like irritated. I mean, he doesn't add anything to the conversation that's like intellectual or exciting or even funny. There's a big difference between knowledge and wisdom. Thanks, Howie. Oh, good thing you're here. <laughs> no problem. Ten veto points. I knew I had to get the last question because if someone else got it, then I wouldn't be coming up the block. I figured, well, if I get this, then I got it. I locked this, I won the power of veto, and the nominations are going to stay. The veto winner is Will. Congratulations. Thank you. I think they just don't care. I'm surrounded with people who don't understand the game. I'm completely alone. I'm so pissed off. The truth is, I kind of wanted Janelle to win, because if she takes herself off the block, well, she'll probably go after Danielle now, leaving me safe for another week. Danielle was gunning for me to get out of this house, and I think that her worst nightmare just happened. Oops, too bad, so sad. I'm going to be here another week. James and I have been nominated for eviction. But I have the power to veto one of the nominations. I decided to use a power veto on myself. <laughs> Obviously, if you go after my friends, I'm coming after you. So Danielle better watch your back. If Kaser left this house, it'd be really uneasy for me because well, he's just my support in the house, and if he left, our alliance might crumble. Man, I'm pissed. If I win HOH and I put Danielle up, you're going to vote her out, right? From here, you have my vote. Yes, Chief George. I guess you're the only one who's created me like in this house. It's like I can't vote for you and leave. Oh my god, that's awesome. I know George said that he's leaning towards voting for me. I've always got Howie and Janelle. I need two more votes, and that would be Chilltown. If I can get their vote, I'm here to stay and start decimating Erica, Marcellus, Danielle. Those are the clear targets. They probably have bombed themselves. It's one vote to evict James, two votes to evict Kaser. James has nullified Janelle's vote, assuming she would vote to evict him and keep Kaser in the house. Let's see if James was right. Hello, Janelle. Hi. Who would you like to evict? James. Hey, sir. You have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star House. What up, Kaser? 
Pacer leaving the house was an extreme blow to my alliance. It's pretty much do or die at this point. I have to win competitions, otherwise I'm screwed and I have to leave the house. I did not promise Kayser I would keep him in the house. Well, I can't tell you what I'm going to do. Okay. And I'll leave it be at that, but we'll see what we can do. loyal to our alliance. Hopefully, with the help of Holly and James, I can still take on the floater. Who is about to become the new head of household? Next question. Which spirit used the phrase on the other side? A. Josh. B. Bunky. Answers, please. The correct answer is a, Josh. Congratulations, Janelle. Yes! You're the new head of household. Yes, Jamie. I did it, Holly. <laughs> this one's for you, Kayser. Yes, Kayser. A one H O H again. I've been H O H three times out of six. Woo! I bet that a lot of people are bitching right now, and they're really upset with me, and they don't want me to be here, but. I'm here to crush dreams. What can I say? Super Bowl, baby! Yeah! I see you tell the rat in your mouth. Hell yeah. Oh. Someone from the rat in his mouth. Someone from the rat in baby. Oh, I'm going to play your big brother history. Oh, Holly. Jedi Janie. The sauce, baby. BB6, baby. Jedi Janie. Three HOHs in six weeks. <laughs> I am not worthy to be in the presence of Janelle. That is the baddest player of all time. Oh my God, she's amazing. So I need to get rid of her. Thank God she's on my team for right now. Mom, please. house to go up. No. Why are you protecting me? Shh. Marcellus, I want to get rid of the week three. Thing is, I have that family. This is the nomination ceremony, everyone. Um, I would first like to uh, start out by stating that um, I try not to take things personal in this game. But, you know, when people are up in the HOH room and they're pretending to be my friend when they're ready to just backstab me when they get the chance, I take that personal. Um, and if you're going to declare war on someone, you better finish the battle. With that being said, I'd like to start the nomination ceremony and the first key. I nominated you, Danielle, and you, Erica, for eviction. Danielle, um, you put me up last week and you were unsuccessful in getting rid of me. I had no choice but to put you up. Please don't take it personally. Oh. Erica, um, I kind of feel like you've been floating this entire game and playing all sides of the house. Um, I really enjoy you as a person, but I really despise your gameplay. Okay. With that being said, this nomination ceremony is adjourned. This was not a hard decision for me at all. I nominated Danielle because she nominated me last week. She tried to get me out of the house and she was unsuccessful, but unfortunately for her, she took out one of my best friends and um, paybacks are you know what. Erica, to me, is just a scumbag of a player. I don't like floaters. Since week one, she's been hiding behind season six, just making us do all the work. I don't respect players like that. So I'm working on the assumption that we still have a deal to go to the final two. How come you're talking about me then? Why are you talking about me? I'm not. Now who told you I was talking about you? Um, 
Will Boogie. You were going to believe Will and Boogie. We have a deal to get to the final two. And you agreed to that, Janelle. Yeah, but Marcellus, you are in the alliance with Danielle and Erica. I have one deal in this game. I'm looking you in your face, and I'm telling you that that deal was the deal I made with you the first week. Everyone's just been saying, like, Marcellus used you. You know, he was up in your HOH room, and now he's not your friend anymore. I never hated you. My allegiance was and is to you. Just keep on acting like you hate me, I guess. If I win head a household, the buxom blonde is toast. Bye. Bye, Marcellus. Danielle, you win the veto, girl! Great job. Thank you. Great job, guys. Thank you. My boys represent it. I feel so good. Uh, Janelle, maybe when you start a war, you better complete it. Ultimate betrayal. James can kiss my ass. He's pulling on to Danielle for some stupid reason, and it's pissing me off. I, I lost a lot of respect for James today. Danielle won the power of veto. I thought I made it very apparent to James that I wanted Danielle to not win the power of veto. What the hell? You told me last night the most important person to not getting the veto, you said, was Erica. You why said the, was what I, why the hell would I say that? I said Danielle had to go. I'm with Danielle. No, you knew that Danielle had to go. Okay. It's stupid. We wanted it's Danielle. Not gone. If you're going to sit there and tell her to her face and not mine that you think I threw this competition and Dr. Will just happened to lose on accident, well then, okay, bring everyone up here and start asking stupid questions then. That's why I'm why so didn't you eliminate Danielle? Because, Danielle? because you asked me the thing, I told you why I did it, and I realized I had up. I, you, you're supposed to eliminate Danielle. You're supposed to eliminate Danielle. You knew that. I, and I, I said it to you when I looked at you, I said, Damn. I just can't believe that you're that stupid. I don't believe James. He lies too much, and he's not a very good liar. If we're, we are going to lose somebody to an accident, we're not losing George. Oh, fine. You're putting on Marcellus. What? If we do lose somebody, we're losing a, we're losing a competitor on that side of the house. You're not going to lose. You're not going to lose anybody. You're not going to lose anybody. You want me to put up Marcellus? Yes. 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 It's the ultimate test of us too, because you know how much we hate Marcellus. He's also getting voted out. No, he's not. Then, then, then that means that you guys aren't with us if he doesn't get voted out. Well, the main thing is, is we didn't want Danielle to win it. I don't think Marcellus. Well, would win. We didn't either, but I mean. She didn't want you to win HOH, but it happened. I mean, the tension with Howie and Janelle was absolutely palpable. We had to deflect any suspicion away from Chilltown. The weak link in this chain is James. Why do you guys not see that? I don't care. We need the numbers. Last year, we, we put have... them up and f***ed our whole game up. Yeah, We're not I doing did. it this year. So you, if you want to put me up, you have to do what's right for you. <laughs> Put me up, I'm gonna go. Yeah. You put me up, I'm gonna go. Okay, I want them. I'm just feeling so much pressure from my people once again. You yeah. hang out with me more Marcellus. I'm gonna get myself in danger. Oh. Nothing, I had to talk with Marcellus. Okay. He's like totally beginning to look nice to me and I feel horrible. I can't do sweetheart, this alone. Look, sweetheart, look. I can't. Okay, check it out. You have to decide who's in your alliance or not. If you, and I, what I like is honesty. If Marcellus is in your alliance, just tell us and we you can separate. And and we, okay, then people have to leave. Someone has to leave every week. Nominate him. He will cry the whole week. He will him. not go home and he will be devastated for the next HOH. And James is shady and Marcellus is even shadier. Yes. And when Boogie and I say we have your back, we have your back. Janelle? Since I saved myself, you as HOH have to uh, pick a replacement, not many. Well, it's been discussed and um, pretty much everyone here has been nominated except for two people. So... I would have to put Marcellus on the block. <laughs> I hope that Erica goes home this week. If Marcellus leaves this house, then um, I'm in big trouble because people that are really close to me are lying to me. You're not going home. You just have to trust me.
Just, no, seriously, Marcellus, just trust me. You are not going to go home. I promise you. I promise. Chilltown and Mike Boogie have told you from day one that they are after you. But I know that they're not going to switch the votes. It would be stupid. Just trust me. Okay. Janelle was a pretty average child growing up. But right around 15, I saw a Janelle that I'd never seen before. She just blossomed in front of her eyes. She got a lot of attention from the opposite sex, of course. Oh, Janie, you're looking hot. God, your body is so nice. Thanks, Holly. She sometimes did have issues with other girls being a little bit jealous of her. Janelle automatically. She has that vegetable. She's a vexen. She's a vexen. Mm -hmm. I think that's why she's very selective when it comes to having girlfriends. The girls are the only ones that are coming after me. That's what I feel like. So she Danielle. I think that Danielle knows that Janelle is much smarter than she lets on playing the bucks and blonde role. Janelle can win the show. Oh, gosh, she's a badass. I came here all by myself. You guys did it. So where do I fit in in your game plan? Only oh, you know the answer to that. Janelle and Danielle have a lot of similarities as far as being leaders, being game players, being strong. Ideally, the two of them should have teamed up and taken that house by storm. It's going to be fun. You have, have no, no idea. idea. It's a war, and I'm just waiting to see who's going to win it. You better be my friend than my enemy. There are no friends. There are no enemies. Game on, Janelle. Hi, Janelle. Hey, Julie. Now, remember, your housemates cannot hear this conversation, so please feel free to say whatever you like. Sure. Now, after the veto competition, you started to question James's loyalty. Right. What are your thoughts on him at this moment? Um, well, I still really want to believe that, um, you know, I can trust him in this game, that he's with me and Howie, um, you know, to, to get as far as we can in the game. But, I mean, his actions proved otherwise. It really seemed like he was kind of faking the competition, and he kind of threw it, and then... After the competition, he just kind of gave a bunch of random excuses why he didn't eliminate Danielle. So, I don't know. I just want to see what happens after this week, I guess. What about Marcellus? You accused him of talking trash about you. What is your relationship with Marcellus now? Um, Marcellus and I are trying to mend our friendship back up. Last week when Kaser was evicted, he, we were fighting a lot because he was with Danielle all the time and he ignored me. But now we're becoming friends again. When Marcellus said to you, we have a secret alliance to the end, you didn't deny it. Is it true? Do you still have an alliance with him? Uh, I don't feel like I can trust Marcellus that much anymore, though. I mean, I'm, I want to go to the end with season six, obviously. So. Thank you, Janelle. Thanks, and you can Julie. rejoin your housemates downstairs in the living room. All right. Marcellus, you have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star house. I had no idea that Marcellus was getting voted to the house. I was shocked, and these people are liars. They all say they're going to do one thing, and they do the complete opposite. I can't believe that Marcellus left like that. I just, I feel like a freaking idiot. Marcellus, you definitely were intended to be the pawn. I never wanted to um, put you in harm's way or evict you. I feel now that it was obviously a, a stupid move on my part. I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Out Marcellus, bad, bad HOH week. I was screwed over by the entire house, so from now on, I'm gonna do what I want and what's good for me. I'm not listening to this whole group voting system. Screw that. I'm not saying that they wished bad will on you by any means, but here's the thing you were, what do you want us to do, George? Do you want us to? I, I can try and win the power veto and keep the nominations. So we're debating on what to do here. You think if someone takes himself off, you're going to put me or Janie? If someone takes himself off? Or you don't know yet? No. George wants his nominations to stay. And I told him if I won the power veto, um, I would probably keep the nominations the same. For once, I feel safe. It's just really bizarre. Thank God for George. Okay, if we... But try and this win it doesn't you. leave the room, no, so me either. I will not leave me, me and her. I will not leave me and her. If you hear it some other way, then you know I spoke. Because if I was going to go after you guys, I already would have done it. All right, Janelle, the whole house wants you out. Because uh -huh. you're the baddest player. James, too. James, too. What? 
jerk. What a weasel. This sucks. James didn't have any loyalty to me or Howie. He wanted to throw me under the bus and try to get George to put me up. You know, Janelle, you were a good player. For me to do that to you would be to go against every principle that I stand for. I can't do it to you. But I do want something in return, OK? OK. I want to join up with you guys. Done deal? Yeah. Good enough. That's all I need. All right. Of course, I mean, how we're going to say anything. Our asses are on the line, you know? We were like, uh, yeah, definitely. It's going to be a big day. What I'll probably do today will turn the game all the way around. Hello, Janelle. Hi, Julie. Who do you want to evict from the Big Brother house? I choose to evict Erica. Howie, you have been evicted from the Big Brother all-star house. Okay, so I have nominated you, James, and I have nominated you, Janelle. Um, as I said earlier, uh, I have put up two people who are very good at this game. And um, I said from day one that I was coming after season six. You were a powerful group of four. There's two of you left. And Janelle, you told me a long time ago to win an HOH and do something about it. And, uh, and that's what I did. I'm not terribly concerned about being nominated because I feel safe. I kind of have to trust Chilton a little bit. You okay? I'm fine. I mean, you know it was coming. You know what I mean? This sucks. It sucks, but we knew it was coming. I wore this in the nomination ceremony. That would have been hilarious. You still make you in a better mood, that's good. No, I'm depressed. I can't stop, I can't talk about it, otherwise I'll start crying. I just feel like I don't have any feeling left in me. Like I don't. Maybe that's how you have to play this then. No, like I feel like I want to go home. Janelle, Janelle, he right is down. down. He is down. Look, yeah. I, need a, I need a hug here. I need a hug. <laughs> of course. Look, okay, dude, here, look. look, it's Daniel, Erica, and James versus it's us three. three. And we're going to try to help you win it. If, you, if we can't get you win it, we're going to try to win it. But that's great for you. This is their thought process. Erica thinks she has us. Danielle thinks that she has us. Sure. James thinks that, like, fine. Chicken George is in his own world. We realize they're all coming after us. Well, let's walk around now. Okay, definitely. It is absolutely imperative that Janelle remains in this house. Why? She's a much bigger target than Chilltown. Her as an individual is still a bigger target than Mike Boogie and I as a pair. It's unbelievable. We have to keep her here, even if she's not on our side, just so that the others will chase her down. Diane. Correct. Janelle, you have won the power of veto. This bitch took the doll out of my hand. Intentionally removing the doll from my hand is physically described as assault in the outside world. Don't be mad at me. No, Janelle, that's poor sportsmanship. You what? Don't the heart. James was really upset at me. I can't believe that just happened. We fought over a freaking doll. I won the power veto, and now I'm here for revenge. I decided not to remain on the chopping block and use the power veto to save myself. So, Janelle, do you want to call a truce? <laughs> um, what, for like a week? One week truce. Okay. Deal? Yeah. Danielle, she was like, what do you think about a truce? I think I paused for it seemed like an eternity because, um, 
I didn't really know what to say. So I just said yes. If I've learned anything in this game, it's like, you know, be honest to the people that are trying to be honest to you and lie to the enemy. <laughs> Figure if you can't beat them, might as well join them. <laughs> and believe it or not, Janelle, I know when people are floaters and they go with power and they cling on to people. Who's a floater? Danielle said that she knows there's people that um, float to people that are in power. She's basically saying that she wanted to go after Chilltown next week. We'll see. What's going on? I was just about to ask you the same thing. I'm reading the Bible. cute tonight. You think so? Yeah. In general or just tonight? In general. But really cute tonight. You're pretty attractive yourself. Really? Flirting's fun. There's a lot of downtime here. I'm often lonely and Janelle keeps me entertained. Yeah, honestly, I do feel like I have Janelle wrapped around my finger. I feel like Janelle is in the palm of my hand. No, I'm not drinking now. So <laughs> I love it when you say you won't do things and you look like you want to. <laughs> well, I just feel like there is, you know, some loyalty to me and James and our relationship because we go so far back and we played this game together last year as well. The problem is that I don't feel like James always had my best interest in mind when he did a lot of things in this house. My only thing is I might want to give James a vote just because I feel like I at least owe him that. Janelle recently discovered that James was out to get her. Will she take this opportunity to first? Hi, Janelle. Hi, Julie. Who do you want to evict from the Big Brother house? I choose to evict James. James, you have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star House. I wanted to thank you for playing this game differently than you played it last year. I think that you've played more honestly, and I respect that. James definitely turned his back on me first. I didn't have a problem sending him home after I, I knew that he tried to get George to backdoor me. All right, Janelle. The whole house wants you out. James, too? James, too. What a weasel. She's just done so many shady things. I nominated her twice, and she's got to get me out of the house because I win everything. Where do you think she's going to put out? We're trying to devise a plan that maybe uh, we can save all of Chilltown and myself. Um, it's going to be pretty tough, though. There's not a lot of people left in the house. Allison was chunky monkey, huh? That's probably why she worked out 15 hours a day when this she was poor here. poor guy. Hello. Oh. I'm not going to be home. No, you don't. Come here. No way. No way. No yes. way. I'm serious. I no won't way. do anything. I promise. All right, tell me a secret. Flirting with Willow is kind of fun, and it gives me something to do in the house. Want to put alligator? No. No. Let me stop. You know what? Flirting makes you feel good. Not fair. <laughs> I just enjoy toying with Will. He's so fun. No, seriously. No, stop. Seriously, stop. Will! He always no. just stop, stop when you know he wants it. He's <laughs> a crush on me. No, I don't, Will. A little bit. No, I don't. A lot? No, not a lot. None? You have a crush on me. That's not true. Liar. I'm not attracted to you, Will. I don't like you. I'm not in love with you. Get over it. So let me get out of the hot tub. I want you to keep me company. On a scale of one to two? I swear to God, I'll hate you so hard. I give her a solid one. <laughs> I think that I will most definitely be nominated today, again. The entire house has been trying to get rid of me for weeks now, but, like, I just haven't died yet. <laughs> Janelle, I have nominated you and George for eviction. Janelle, I just have to say that I was a huge fan of the way you played the game on your show, and therefore I think you are a huge threat. When I was nominated and she told me that she admired me and all that crap, I really wasn't that grateful that she said that, I was just more annoyed. I feel like they're definitely targeting me, not Chicken George, and they want me out of the house. 
Well, obviously, I'm going to try and win the power of you, Don. I just wanted to tell you that um, if I do win it, I'm not going to be coming after you next week. I'm still going after the people that took out my friends. I mean, the thing is, is like, I don't really have anyone left in the house. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to work with you if possible. All right. If I stay, obviously, I'm going to be going after Chilltown. Um, I'm just sick of them the way they've been like, you know, just basically playing everyone. I told her a little fib. I told her that I was going to be after Chilltown if I stayed and that I, would, I wanted to work with her. Um, I think she might believe me. I know. Everything I have done has been working toward this. I know, but what if Danielle wins it? That's terrible. Don't let her win it. You really think you guys can do that? That'd be so awesome. Let's chill. All right, get away from me. You know what? I don't want to do I have no one to talk to. Too bad, you'll be fine. Oh. Well. <laughs> Thank you. Janelle, you have won the golden power veto once again. <laughs> yeah! Can I please see what the last one was? <laughs> no, when I saw it, I was like, oh, Janelle got this. <laughs> Good job, Janelle. Thanks. This is my fourth veto that I've won, and I needed to win the power of veto, otherwise I was probably going to be sent out the door on Thursday. All right, who do we get rid of? I don't know. Who do you want to get rid of? The guys? I'm gonna try and talk Erica into something and see if she will nominate Danielle. I think that if Erica believes that I'm coming after the guys next week, she might leave them in the house for me to go after. You don't know wanna say? I don't know, let's talk. All right. Okay. All right. Give me some thoughts. I don't... I mean, I think all three of them need to go. <laughs> see, I don't think I could beat Danielle in the finals. I mean, I don't think I could... I don't, I don't think... think anyone can. And the guys kind of suck. <laughs> So if I take her out and we team up and go after a chill tone, mm -hmm. oh my God, she's gonna hate me. Do you think that's my best move or should I take Will out? He sucks. <laughs> he doesn't, no, seriously, he's really bad. <laughs> but maybe he's throwing, you know? No. <laughs> I think Will's probably just as bad as Chicken George. <laughs> There's no reason not to use a power veto on myself, because if I remained on the block, I think that I would be voted out. But, um, I do have to use it on myself. Sorry, George. Janelle has Chilltown believing she's on their side, but she's also said she's going after them at some point. What will Janelle do? Hi, Janelle. Hi, Julie. Please reveal your vote now. I vote to evict Danielle. Danielle, you have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star House. Our live eviction was really emotional. Danielle is like one of the best competitors, so it's just pretty much a no-brainer, Chicken George or Danny. Danielle, it was so amazing to play against one of the best players ever. You. You <laughs> did play the game differently this time. You didn't lie, and you were loyal to those people who maybe weren't loyal to you. Everyone got it right, but Janelle, congratulations. You're eight for eight, and you are the new head of household. Please get the HOH key from Erica. I wonder who won the head of household. Janelle! There was um, some slight concern that Janelle might come after Chilltown. I mean, you just never know with that girl. She's a sharp game player, and Janelle's going to have to nominate two people immediately. Uh, I was real concerned that she would make a rash decision. Thank you. Congratulations. When I'm in bed at night and I think about um, the ex-house guests and all the events that happened, of course my studying pays off. I got them all right. As soon as Janelle won HOH, I pulled her aside and had a conversation with her. My flirt game is strong, just quite strong, so she kind of listens to me. We're about to go play Vito, I think. But I'm here about Chicken George, and then we will all stay. The worst case of Chicken George. It's option 18. Oh, well, wait, wait. And then you put American Chicken George or in the What if I put American American Chicken George? Trust me. No, if we do it that way, they're not going to stick together.
I had just a few minutes to work on Janelle. Luckily, it didn't take me too long to convince her. Janelle listens to me because she's in love with me. Who's the best competitor in Big Brother history? Me. Who's the hottest girl in the Big Brother house? Me. Ever. I think so. Janelle, please stand and address your housemates and make your nominations. Um, well, this is like a really horrible position to be in. Um, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. But um, I'm just going to nominate. Um, I haven't really had that much time to talk to anyone. So I'm going to have to nominate um, George and Erica. Back in the seat again. George and Erica, thank you for taking your seats in the nomination chairs. The Pilates goes a long way. Woo. I was a little disappointed when Erica won the veto. I'm not going to lie. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, obviously, I'm going to use the veto to veto my nomination to Janelle as current HOH. Well, there's only two people left. And um, I'm going to have to nominate um, Boogie. I'm sorry. It's not so bad over here, Boogie. George, you have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star House. It's OK, everybody. Bye, George. I'm sorry. I absolutely loved Chicken George. He was so pleasant in the house. He never had a bad thing to say about anybody. Dr. De that was crazy. <laughs> that definitely felt like today we got rid of the parents in the house and now the kids are left all alone at home. <laughs> as long as it's on a 180 foot yacht, it'd be fine. Why do you think this way of me? That you'd want a big ring? Yeah. I don't. I, he does. No, I didn't think that be satisfied with anything but the wedding would have to be in minnesota i would be totally fine eloping and getting married somewhere can i see will's face when i drop this you might want to refrain from whatever this idea is i can just tell in your tone of voice why don't we have a crazy weekend in vegas and you guys do like a fake cheesy wedding why would we do that because you guys do your little flirt thing and you pretend that you get married even though you have respective others in your life what if Will and I really do get married, like we're drinking and stuff? It's a book seat. That's what I'm hoping for. No, I'm done. Operation Double Date worked too well. Janelle is refusing to take no for an answer. She wants me to kiss her. She wants me to be in the hot tub with her. She wants me to sleep in the same bed with her. I don't know what to do. She's driving me absolutely insane. That's all I got. I have and I'm done, too. Cool. Psycho. Excuse me? I said, sweetheart. Get the hell away from me. You're used to getting everything you've ever wanted in your entire life. Well? I'm sorry if you annoy the piss out of me. Well, then, let's not even be friends. Fine. Fine by me. Fine by me, too. You sleep in the red room. No, I will not. I'll throw your stuff I will in sleep there. in the ant room. The ant I'll throw mine. your stuff in the red room. The ant room, the ant room is mine. Mine. Will and I had our first argument tonight. The fight was about the way Will was treating me. It was just really bad and messy and awkward. Will, you know I'm mad at you. You can whisper it to me. I'll tell you in here. I'm upset by, the, by your behavior because I feel like it's been enough. I, I, I don't mean to be. So mad at you. Let's hug, make up. So I came downstairs and of course, you know, being the conniving woman that I am. I put my ear to the door. Look, see this? See this? I have your back. I have your back. I have your back. I want to talk more. I don't want to okay, get into okay. this little pep talk. Look, listen. Really quickly, though. Let me ask you this question. Do you really think I'm planning on evicting you if I win power of veto? I would hope not. Has anything over the last six weeks indicated to you for a second that I would do that? No, Will. I totally expect to be nominated today. It's not going to come as a big surprise to me. My key's not going to come out of there. I'm not at all surprised that I was nominated today. I think all three of them are pretty much after me. And I've got to put a stop to this madness that Chilltown's created. No matter what they tell me, my judgment tells me that, uh, logically, they win the veto, I'm gone. What's Erica doing up there? Moping. Complaining? Yeah. About? Life, you, everything. She's like, if Janelle wins this, she'll win the whole show. She's going to have won 10 things. And we're like, all right, whatever. Shut up, bitch. 
I'm so sick of her. She's like, this is the time I went out last year, so I'm really scared. Good, this is the time you're gonna go out this time. No, bitch. Erica, for some reason, thinks that she can beat Chilltown in the end. It's like, no, hello, Erica. You're playing for second place anyway. She's kind of an idiot. I mean, you have nothing to worry about. If me, you, or Boogie wins POV... Don't worry. If me, you, or Boogie wins POV, Erica leaves. Okay. Because you know I'll have no problem going around. I know. Chilton has a very important agenda. I want Mike Boogie to continue his showmance with Erica, and I'm going to continue my flirtmance with Janelle, just so that they're more loyal to us. <laughs> it's like a fun slumber party. Oh, I'm really excited, actually. <laughs> Except that you snore a little bit. I do? A little bit. Do I really? A little bit. I hate you so much. <laughs> no, you don't. I know, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Will always says that he plays emotionless, and I wish I could do that. I'm trying to. Emotionally, he does have me. It's like, okay, um, I have a way tighter bond with Will than I do with Erica, and he knows that, and so he kind of uses it against me. Okay, for the third week in a row and the final veto winner, who could it be? Oh, it's Janelle! Congratulations! Thank you! Yet again. <laughs> I, it was just such a relief to win it. I was so happy. This is a tremendous um, advancement to me because now I am securing myself in final three. How do you know? I don't know. We can talk about it. Okay. You can't beat Will. I mean... If you want those two against you, I don't know. You think you can? I don't know. I think it's pretty much anyone's game. I don't know. I just don't know. Just know, if you send Will to the jury house, they'll love you. <laughs> oh, I know. It's up to you. It's your call. I'll never get past fourth place in this house. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know if if I'm going home. I don't know yet. I, I mean, I need to think about it. It's like a huge decision. And it is totally 50-50. I am the deciding vote, and I have to decide who I want to take to the final three with me. I've got to think about it, just because I've been lied to so many times in this game, and I'm just like... Well, do you know who the biggest liar is to you in this game? You know who that is, right? Mm-hmm. Who? Boogie. <laughs> well... Yeah, I'm over it. I'm over these two boys. They lied to everybody on the way out this door. I let them get to the front too. They think you and I are a joke. Like they've manipulated us. I mean, oh. I'm, I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. I mean, they've already pinned us against each other. Let's not let that... Why should we continue to let them do it, you know? Girls against the boys. Let's not have them pin us against each other anymore. You promise you'll take me to the final? I swear on my mother. I don't trust Erica completely, but she promised on her mother and her life that she'd bring me to the final two. So, um, I don't know. I honestly do think it's your best name. I mean, I'm saying if you had a friend and a woman. I mean, think about the things that he's done in this game to you. You know? Didn't he promise you that Howie would be safe? Why would you believe him in any other aspect, you know? It's complicated. I think there are a couple of liars. I tell you that you're part of Chilltown. Yes! Me too! <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. The little's like, this is Chilltown right here. We are Chilltown. We work quickly, we work secretly. That's what they said to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything's cool. Everyone chill down. We don't get worked up. We work by secret ninja moves. No one knows what we're doing. No one's ever come into chill town except for you. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, you guys, I think it would be silly for me not to use it, so I'm going to go ahead and use it on myself and go off the block. Okay. Janelle, please stand and cast your vote to evict now. Um, well, this is an extremely hard position to be in. Um, I'm really friends with both of you. Um, Will, you're like the closest person in the house to me. Um, 
I really feel like this summer I've made a lot of mistakes in the house, and um, after tonight I'm done making mistakes. And for Marcellus and Howie, I vote to evict you, Will. Sorry. It's official, Will. You have been evicted from the Big Brother oh All-Star House. God. Oh, Sorry. Guys. No, it's all right. <laughs> Evicting Will was horrible for me because I lied to him and told him that I wasn't going to evict him, but I felt like he was standing in the way of me winning the game. You talked me into a lot of things that I wouldn't have normally done, and I'm not very happy with that, and I feel like I've made a lot of mistakes in the game, and um, it's been because of you and Boogie. You always said that we'll be great friends outside of this, and if you're my true friend, you will be as friends with me, even though I voted you out. I'm sorry. Janelle, I'm sorry, but you did not have both hands on your key for the entire time. When did I take my hands off? I didn't. What? Erica, you are the winner of round one of the HOH competition. I was like talking, I was like, Janelle, I'm letting go, I'm, like, I'm gonna let go, I'm gonna give it to you, and, and all of a sudden, I guess she'd let go, and now I want it. I did want to win an endurance competition. I've never won one, and I pride myself on winning competitions, but I lost it. Erica won it. I've got to win the next one. Didn't I tell you he was going to jump off? I can't believe he did that, though. I told you. Why would he do that? He told me he was going to. I was extremely surprised that Boogie jumped off right away and said, you guys got to take me anyway. I was like, what? You're crazy. I got to beat Boogie tomorrow night. You're, you're gonna be fine. You're great. You're great in this. Don't stress. You're great. I just hope that Janelle can smoke him in the next round, and I have all the faith in the world that that girl will. Boogie is pissed. Good. If any woman has ever been played by a guy, she should feel great for what Eric and I have just accomplished. Help. It was hard to line up the mirrors because I couldn't see that June's laser was hitting um, Drew's. Why is it not hitting it? It was really hard, and I, it was, I couldn't see it. Janelle, time. 3.45, Mike wins. Oh my god. Congrats, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Mike and I are going to be playing for the final HOH. I'd much rather be playing against Janelle because I think Janelle and I came to an understanding that the two boys played us and um, we get to the final to win. Congratulations. <laughs> I feel kind of bad that Erica and Boogie get to compete in the third part. And I have to watch. It's super hard. Was it? I'm worried that they won't take me to the final two. Why would they take me? Yeah, that's for you, Mom! I told you I'd get you a convertible. Go ahead, Janelle. Um, I know that you were close with Erica, but we've been talking the last few days, and she actually discovered that you and Will were playing everyone, so that would be hard to bring her to the end because she can point out the fact that she discovered you guys earlier on that you were playing everyone. So, And I was so easily influenced, I think I'll lose anyway. Thank you both. Just a reminder, the evicted house guest will have one minute to say goodbye, gather their belongings, and walk out the front door. Mike, please stand and cast your vote to evict now. I just want to say happy birthday to Lonnie Moore and to get right down to the business uh, I adore both of you I've been aligned with both of you at times and um, you're both incredible players I was fans of yours and this is the most surreal thing in the world that I would sit here and be in this position to do this um, Erica I did hold you responsible for Will's eviction even though Janelle had cast the vote um, but I'm not here for vengeance uh, Janelle you are a phenomenal player. You, I hated you. I loved you. I adore you. I couldn't say a bad word about you. You are too good at this. You've won nine competitions. You have too many friends on the jury. I love you, but I have to evict you, sweetie. It's fine. I love you, It's official. I love you too. But... I'm sorry, Janelle. Janelle, you are the last person to be evicted from the Big Brother All Star House. Don't worry. I'm not mad. I love you girl. I love you too. Good thing you guys. You were amazing. You guys are awesome.
You're amazing. One last spin. Yeah. Oh, who's the prettiest girl? <laughs> Bow down to the Bye, princess. Janelle. Bye, guys. You deserve to win, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Oh, you do. We're going to have a lot of fun. Champagne at Les Doux on me. Awesome. All right? I love it. I love Bye, you, guys. Bye. We'll miss Bye, you. Bye, gorgeous. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You can put your bag down and come on over. Yeah. Anywhere is fine. Welcome. Hi, Julie. Hi, Janelle. Have a seat. <laughs> well, Janelle, two nights ago you evicted Will right in front of his best friend. And Mike Boogie said tonight that it's not about vengeance. Do you believe him? Do you think it was purely strategy why he voted you out tonight? I do think it was strategy. Um, he would have had a harder time beating me rather than Erica. So it was probably a good move for him to evict me. But he also said something that's very true. Congratulations. You have made Big Brother history. You've won more competitions than anyone. Really? You've been HOH oh, wow. four times. You've won the POV five times. Mm -hmm. But looking back, what was the flaw in your game? Um, I trusted too many people. Like, I believed people. So that was my major flaw, I believe. You know? Well, right before you evicted Will, you said, I made a lot of mistakes in this uh -huh. game. What were some of your biggest mistakes? Oh, gosh, there's so many. Um, I think one of my biggest mistakes was putting up Marcellus and not putting up Boogie. Why? Because um, they evicted Marcellus, and they had completely played me that entire week. And I, I believed them. I believed that they wouldn't evict Marcellus. What else? Um, gosh, it's hard to think right now. Um, there's so many other things. <laughs> I think trusting Chilltown so much and believing that they had my back when they didn't, they were just using me. So... <sighs> Set the record straight for us. You're out of the house now. Yeah. What are your feelings for Will? Oh, Julie. <laughs> I'm not going to say that right now. <laughs> Why? I'm too embarrassed. Mm -mm. Well, in the event that you were the one evicted tonight, your housemates taped some goodbye messages, so let's listen. All right. Man, I am shocked that, uh, that you're not going to win Big Brother All-Stars. Chilltown and you had a great thing going for a long time, and I'm just really sorry that Scrubica had to get in the <laughs> middle of it and ruin it for all of us. You are one of the few people in here who are a lot like me and Will, who just get it in life, and, uh, and I look forward to, to you being one of the few people I would be friends with outside of here. I had such a blast with you this last week, uh, reliving the moment where we kicked Will out of the house. A lot of women <laughs> would choose their heart over their head. I am in awe of you. I adore you. And I can't wait to continue our friendship outside of this house. And I will see you soon. Love you, honey. What are your final thoughts? They're both so sweet. Um, I love them both, you know? Um, it's just so crazy because I was so close to both of them, especially Erica the last few days. But, I mean, I was closer to Boogie towards the middle of the game and after Howie left and all that, so... Will be interesting to see what you do in the jury house. Yeah. We'll see you back here Tuesday night when you will help crown the winner of All Big right. Brother All Stars. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Julie. Janelle.